All right, so let's get to rendering animated uh, objects and lights. Uh, so here we have a scene like this, and we want to have animated shadows. Uh, so the first thing that uh, I highly recommend uh, is that you focus on the uh, objects that receive the shadow uh, rather than those that cast the shadow. So uh, for example here, our animated this is our animated object, but having animated shadows on this one it is not going to be uh, very noticeable. But uh, for this object which looks static, this is the one that we want to have animated shadows on it. So using this uh, mindset it is going to help you save a lot of time and avoiding avoid baking uh, unnecessary objects. So even if you are, have a character, uh, uh, the shadow that it casts on itself may not uh, really be that much noticeable, especially if it is moving really, uh, really fast. Uh, so there are cases that you can just ignore uh, baking the actual animated object and just focus on the shadow that it casts on the environment. So here I'm going to uh, select this ground and all I need to do is press this animated button. And now if I uh, bake this object, it is going to uh, go through all of these frames and bake the shadow for all of them. And it is also going to bake the reflection for all of these frames. Since this object doesn't have any reflection, I'm going to disable it. To do that, uh, I can add a new attribute Select the object, press the add attribute, and here uh, choose animated reflection. And by default, it is going to be off. And uh, if your object have uh, subsurface scattering, you can also do that for SSS as well. So, for example, you may not even want the shadow reflection and just want the SSS, or you want the shadow but you don't want the SSS or reflection to be animated. And it, it helps you save a lot of time. So with that, let's pick the object. Since I have uh, a light mixer enabled, it is going to uh, go multiple times through the timeline to cover all the lights. And this is it. You can see that we now have a nice animated shadow. And because of the light mixer, we can actually modify the light color and intensity as well. Okay, so now let's uh, try the animated reflection as well. So let's say if this object was metal. Uh, in this case, the reflection, the animated reflection, may actually be noticeable. Well, maybe not from this direction, but from here, it is going to be noticeable. Uh, one thing that I also have to mention, when you enable uh, the metalness, the change is going to be real-time in the viewport, but I still recommend that, if you, especially if you set the metalness to a high value, select it and just press the update shader. It is going to uh, just balance the, uh, the effect of light on the metal a little bit better. So now, let's increase the reflection a little bit to see what is happening. Uh, you can see that the reflection is a little bit noisy. That is because by default, X-ray is going to disable the noise error for reflection build. Uh, if you don't want that, you can just uncheck this option and now if I bake the reflection it is going to be uh, much smoother. You can also enable reflection filter it is going to make uh, everything look uh, much smoother but for some objects it is going to make this weird line which can uh, be very ugly. So I'm, uh, I'm going to just disable it if you want a higher quality uh, reflection, so it doesn't look uh, pixelated, you can also add another attribute for reflection resolution. So I'm going to set that. So for example, let's set it to something like this. No, that was the same. A little bit more. And it looks much better. 
Okay. So now this is the result of the static reflection build from this direction. It is also noticeable. And I can add a attribute uh, animated reflection and just enable it. Now if I build the reflection, it is going to go through the timeline back into reflection. And now we have a nice animated reflection on this object. And you have, uh, if you have a scene like this, the light changes doesn't really uh, isn't really that noticeable uh, for the duration of the animation. Uh, you still need to uh, bake the object for at least one frame, bake the light map uh, of the object for at least one frame uh, to have the reflection working properly. So uh, keep that in mind. That is, I guess, pretty much it for the animated objects. Uh, we can try the animated SSS but it is pretty much the same thing, not going to be anything different. By default when you press the animated button it is going to bake everything unless you uh, define otherwise here. So if this object ha was a character with a skin and the skin had a subsurface scattering enabled it would bake uh, the light map reflection and subsurface unless you disable it from here. Uh, okay, so one uh, last thing to add is that uh, after you are done baking the animation for uh, your objects, I highly recommend that you select these, uh, press the add attribute and just add lock build. And with that added, we now have a new attribute, lock build. And now if we build all meshes, it is just going to bake the, uh, those objects that are not locked. So this is a very safe way of working so you don't accidentally uh, press the build all mesh or have uh, one of these objects selected and just press build selected and if you don't lock them it is just going to go through all the frames again uh, which can be annoying. So always lock, up, lock these objects and also it is something to be careful with because uh, sometimes you may lock the object and you forget it uh, so if you uh, were pressing the keep pressing the build selected button and it wasn't working this can be uh, one of the reasons that you have uh, already locked it uh, if this issue happens without locking the object so for any reason you were uh, trying to bake on bake an object and it wasn't working uh, just save the scene and that will fix the issue Sometimes when you cancel the animation, so for example, let's try it. Let's set this one to animate it. If I bake and I just hold escape, it is going to cancel. And now if I try to bake again, it is not baking anything. And in that case, we can just save the scene and let's set it to static. And now if I bake, it is going to just bake normally. And uh, this whole uh, method of baking uh, all the frames um, and while it may uh, look a little bit time consuming it is actually uh, quite efficient as you may know I did a test recently I imported uh, one of the blender sample scenes into Maya uh, just to compare the dynamic lighting of EV and the static uh, method of X-ray to see how they work uh, beside the uh, overall performance that you get in the viewport for uh, interaction and na navigation the uh, overall rendering of the animation was uh, very fast so uh, here uh, I did the test I rendered 200 of the, the basic camera animation in uh, both Blender and EV and X-Ray so here I, I speeded up a uh, video by 100 times so you can see that it took around uh, half an hour, 30, uh, 34 minutes. And with the irradiance cache build, it took around uh, 35 minutes. While in X-Ray, uh, I, after baking the whole uh, scene, 
I also did some modify, uh, modification to the hair and then did the play blast uh, to render the animation and all of that took 8 minutes even if we have a, uh, one or two animated characters uh, I, can sh I will show you in the when we get to shadow masks that uh, it can still be uh, quite fast when using x ray and a great advantage of uh, using this method, uh, this static baking, is that if uh, at any point the director decides that they want to uh, do some uh, uh, simple modifications or uh, maybe you just want to change the camera, uh, in the dynamic light methods it is going to take the same amount of time. So for example if you are uh, using EV it is going to take another half an hour uh, but in X-ray, because everything is already baked, it is going to take. Uh, so in this scene, it took around, and that was uh, the saving as an image format for uh, AVI. It was much faster, uh, maybe around 10 seconds. So yeah, this uh, whole system is. While it may take a little bit time at the beginning. Uh, overall, it, it can save you a lot of time.